Hi, I'm Chrissy from firstdayofhome.com. Today we're going to take a plain wooden Kleenex box like this one and turn it into something special using decoupage. Let's get started. The supplies you'll need for this tutorial include obviously a wooden Kleenex box. I picked this one up at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. And then as a primer, I'm going to use a latex acrylic paint. Um, you can use any kind of white or light colored acrylic paint, or you could use a darker color acrylic paint if you desire. I'm gonna be covering up most of the paint with my decoupage supplies, which in this project include some scrapbook paper, which I've already cut out to fit the top hole. And then I'm going to be using some pretty spring patterned napkins. Okay, so I have painted my wooden Kleenex box and let it dry overnight. And now I'm going to begin preparing my napkin to decoupage the sides of the box. Okay, so I have applied my Mod Podge. I'm going to start with this pretty little square right here, and as best as I can, I'm going to center it on here. I don't want to have to move it around a lot, but the good thing about this type of project is if it looks a little off or a little uh, bumpy, that's okay because it's kind of a shabby chic design. Okay, so I've kind of got it layered on there more or less where I want it. And then I'm going to use just a plastic food wrap or saran wrap and use this to kind of spread my napkin around. Okay, now I have all four sides of the tissue box covered in decoupage, uh, covered in our napkin paper. I've let it dry about 15 to 20 minutes uh, before I added another coat. I should also mention, I found it easiest to do two adjacent sides and then wait and let those dry before I did the other two. Otherwise, you might risk setting down a side that you've done that's not dry yet and having it stick to the surface of whatever you're working on. So now I'm going to flip it over so that the top part is facing up. As I mentioned, I've already cut out my scrapbook paper and I'm going to apply my decoupage. top coat is drying. It's so much thicker than the tissue paper that I can't even feel the glue through this. That's why I didn't have to use the clear plastic wrap. But while that dries, I'm going to apply another coat to each side of my tissue box with the Mod Podge. And that's just to kind of seal it in place and protect it. I've now let the first coat dry and I'm just applying a top coat of Mod Podge on the scrapbook paper. You'll notice it looks very white when you first put it down. Don't freak out, it's okay. It's going to dry clear, but it will look very white. Um, I try to do some quick brush strokes so it won't go on too thick, but just try to spread it out as best as you can and know that it's going to dry clear when you're done. I'll do this 
maybe one more time depending on how it looks and then I'm going to sand it down and take it outside to apply a harder glossy finish all over and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's a final look at our decoupage wooden tissue box. I again put three coats more or less on each side with matte Mod Podge. Then I sanded it just gently. I didn't want to do too much sanding on this particular design and after doing that I took it outside and used a clear acrylic sealer called Mod Podge Super High Shine. I did two coats of this waiting about 10 minutes in between and here's the result. I hope you enjoyed this and if you want more tutorials like this please be sure to visit firstdayofhome.com.